You know, 20 years of sobriety is um, a long time. I mean, when I think about it, it's crazy. What I realize now when I cried out to God to deliver me from my alcoholism and to accept me, I felt the 2,000 pound weight lifted off my shoulders. At that moment, I didn't realize that He had instantaneously cured me of ever desiring another drink for those 20 years. I never thought again about another drink, which was amazing. But then when I went, slipped back into it, it was devastating. I, I thought I was going to be able to handle a couple of drinks, and within a couple of weeks, I was a full-blown alcoholic, drinking as if I had never given it up. And I was, you know, I was just, I was dirty and wretched. I was, I felt like a worm. I was groveling. And then I started to get depressed because I knew where I needed to be. I needed to be back into the fellowship of the Lord. I, I missed Him terribly, but there was something different this time. I still had the desire to drink, even though I knew I wanted the Lord more than I wanted the drink. I knew that, but I wasn't, I wasn't able to stop, and and I, I've, I confessed to him, and I knew he heard my confession, but there was something in my mind talking. There was him saying to me, Julie, you've confessed to me. Now I want you to come to church. I want you to be in a community of people where you're confessing to them. And I know that's where I needed to be. I need to be with God's people, because even though God knows I'm sorry, and, uh, and I know He forgives me, but I have to be in the community of His people. It was so hard. Oh, I went to church out here at Redeemer. I heard about it, and I knew I wanted to be there. I knew what they were about. And so I did go with my husband that Sunday, and the nicest uh, gal sat next to me afterwards. She just welcomed me, and she offered an invitation that there was a Bible study that she went to that she'd love to have me come to if I was interested. And I'm thinking, Whew. you know, I said, Lord, get me there, because I was really still drinking. and. Um, you know, I just tried to make sure I didn't drink the night before so I didn't go with too bad of a hangover. But I did, I went. I went and I knocked on the door and these people loved on me. They were so graceful. And it was just a beautiful time of, of being together with them and knowing that, okay, this is where God wants me. And, and I came away smiling because, you know, God said, Julie, you know, job well done. That's where he wanted me. So I'm now going to studies weekly and uh, absolutely loving them. I was in a discipleship program for 18 weeks and I have not had a drink since those first two Bible studies. And now it's April, Easter, you know, nothing could be better soberly worshiping God on Easter. You can worship a lot of different things in life, inanimate objects, things that go down the throat, things where you turn pages or watch on TV. You can worship a lot of different kind of gods that have come and gone and died. Only one is risen from the dead. That's the one, Jesus. It's all about Jesus.